Hello everybody, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is on the shielding properties of our ring. So I brought my personal base from home and I've also brought an amp so I can show you that it really works. But to be honest I'm not very clued up on actually how it works but a simple analogy that helped me understand a little bit more or get a grasp on what's happening is imagine being on a battlefield and you've got a shield and you've got all these arrows flying at you. They're being blocked by the shield and you're completely okay. That's essentially what's happening here. So it minimizes the white noise slash feedback that's coming through, but the EMF is still there. That hasn't gone. And that's pretty much all I know about this, but let's actually get into it. So it's time to de-string the guitar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed this process up because there's hundreds of videos out there if you don't know how to de-string your guitar there is hundreds of videos out there showing you how to do it it's a pretty simple process as well so that's enough talking let's actually get into it okay so before we de-string the guitar what I want to do is actually play a little something so you can really understand sort of the little bit of feedback that's coming through on the amp so let's do it And there we go. <laughs> I don't even have to play anything for you to hear that. So, <laughs> oh, it's time to de-string. And there you have it. We've got no more strings on the guitar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this up a little bit and I'm going to take the pickups out which I'll also speed up as well. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay so welcome back. I've now de-stringed the guitar and now it's time to actually take off these pickups right here. They're secured by four screws on each one. Uh, I've loosened these a little bit so it takes me a little bit less time to take these off. What you want to do is unscrew them. And that's the first one out, and that's what they look like. On my second pickup, there's a little bit of a screw here with a wire attached to it. I'm not 100% sure what this does, but what I'm going to do is remove it just in case. have it both pickups have been removed so the next part of this is to actually get your pot of ink and I've got two sizes of paintbrush here I've got a big one so I can paint a big area really easily and I've got a smaller one so I can get these edges really nicely up in here so let's do it hmm Don't worry if a little bit gets on your guitar, you'll be able to wipe it off, no problem. That's time for my small brush so I can get all up in this area, no problem. Now it's time to do the next one. Okay. 
Okay, so now this has been completed, it's been painted on the inside, I think that I've put sufficient amount of paint into these pickups. Once, it's, once this is done drying, I'm going to put these pickups back in, put the strings back on, tune it up, and I'll play you a little something so you can hear the difference, which is going to be pretty cool. So, I'll see everyone in a second. So there you have it, this has been painted now, and there's one thing to note, is that I also dip these screws in, because I think they might help with what we're doing here. So, we're nearly finished, the last thing to do is to put these pickups back in, screw them in, and then restring the guitar, and then we can plug it in to see how it has actually affected the performance of it, which is going to be really cool. So, let's get into it. Move these over here. Come on. Come on. Go. That's sitting in there nicely. Oh, screws. Oh, I'm missing one. <laughs> oh, it's just me. There we go. Where's the missing one? Ah, found it. Right, I'm going to speed this process up because I showed how to take them out before and it's just literally vice versa screwing them back in. So, I'll see you guys in a second. There we go. There you have it. So I put the pickups back in, I've restringed the guitar, and I tuned it all up so that it sounds absolutely fantastic. The best thing is, there is absolutely minimal amount of white noise. That is absolutely insane. I can't hear anything. Wow, I can't believe how well that's worked. That has worked phenomenally. Phenomenally? Phenomenally. There we go. So I thought I'd play a little something uh, just for the end of the video and to see how rich the bass tone is. Why not?
Wow! <laughs> oh my goodness, that was fun. I really enjoyed this video. That was absolutely fantastic. Well, I hope that was of interest to some, uh, to some of you guys. And I really hope this helps someone out as well who's in a probably similar situation to what I was in today. Wow! That's all I've got to say to that. That is fantastic. <laughs> Anyway, everyone, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you later.